Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your December 12th, 2022 Angel Day reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let us ask God, Source Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, to bless us, to move us forward in healing, loving peace, keeping all that is hurtful and hateful from us. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the Six of Wands. That's an interesting energy to be mindful of because it's an energy of celebrating ourselves, but it is also an energy of somebody else really celebrating themselves. So it can be somebody comes in and gives themselves all these accolades, says they do so much and has people that believe them but it doesn't ring true for us. We're like, well, why are they celebrating you? Or I don't like you, you know, type of thing. And then we can feel guilty about it because, oh my gosh, they're really great. Just be mindful of this. Scorpio, you have a tendency, just as you yourself, to see what others do not see, okay? To understand what others can take a while to come to the conclusion of. And that's one of your superpowers, but it can make you feel rather alone in things. So just be aware of that. There can also be, something with like pride cometh before the fall, you know, type of thing, where we can be a little bit too arrogant about something. And spirit saying, be mindful about this, look at all the different angles. Don't think you've come to the solution so quickly, because there's still some kinks to be worked out, you know, to get the wire just perfectly straight. So let's see what energy we need to meditate on during this time. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. And this is nature. Scorpio, for you, Getting out in nature, connecting with nature is just going to be super important. It's going to be a way to recharge your battery, going for a walk or just being outside. Don't put a book in your ear. Don't, you know, listen to a podcast or do anything like that. Just be outside and let nature surround you. That's going to be so beneficial for you that it's going to be amazing. You're going to be like, whoa, whoa, what just happened here? Because you're connecting with yourself. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. Oh, wow. Okay, so I love this. I love what you have here because you have the king and the queen of cups coming forward. All right. And you have here, you have which one is justice. Okay, you have justice here. You have a sense, and this is strong Libra energy. So if you're born on the cusp with Libra, or you have a lot of Libra in your chart, this is going to be a crowning element for you during this time. But whenever somebody has the king and the queen of the same suit of, you know, from the same deck in a reading, that's a soulmate connection. That's a true love connection. You could be falling in love during this time. You could be moving on and like solidifying a relationship, like moving it on to the next level. You can be falling in love with yourself, falling in love with your talents and your aspirations and where you want to be. The love that comes in, the balance of the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine that comes forward is beautiful. And we're going to be finding ourselves moving forward in a beauty we didn't realize we had and in a power we didn't know we wanted. 
So there can be a sense here of, oh, I don't, I don't need that recognition or I just want a quiet life. And that's one thing. But you need to let your talent show. You need to let yourself embrace who you are. It's like pop that bubble around you, which, you know, we have all kind of gotten in because of everything that's happened in the world, everything that we've been through, that it's like we've all pulled away. And even when we're connecting, we can feel kind of awkward. So here, it's like, no, now's your time to shine. You have the the queen of swords coming forward, air sign energy, again, amplifying that Libra energy here. But it's Aries. No, it's not Aries. It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming forward. So if you have that energy in your chart, that's going to, to come through very powerfully. The queen of swords is the most masculine of the queens. The queen of cups, the most feminine of the queens. And what that means here is that we're finding a balance between that masculine and feminine energy within ourselves. Yes, we have the king of cups, but the king of cups can be seen as also the most feminine of the kings. So we're going to have a tendency to, mo to move towards the quote unquote feminine aspects of life, the nurturing, the, the, the loving, the compassionate, because that's what water signs are drawn to. And that's what is coming forward during this time. But on the 12th of December, on this angel day, 1212, okay, this is about consciousness rising within us and a heightened, awakened state. So we're seeing the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine aspect of ourselves moving us forward. There's a wholeness. There's a circle, a completion coming here. And there's also a graduation. Now, it can be a physical graduation. We can be graduating from college or a course or, you know, whatever it is that we're learning or we're, we're, we're expanding our knowledge with. But there's also a sense of a graduation within ourselves, a graduation of deeper knowledge, deeper learning, deeper understanding of who we are, of where we want to be, of what we're looking for. And that brings us to this completion of a cycle, which is also about this time, about this angel day, and moving to the next chapter. And we're going to see things, because we have the eight of wands here, we're going to see things moving really rather quickly. We're learning the power of our voice, of what we desire, of what we want, how to articulate it, how to claim it. We've seen, we're seeing what we've trained for, what we've sacrificed for, what we desire within our lives, and how to feed that with love, compassion, and nurturing of soul and self. But there's a fierceness to us. There's a way to say things that others are afraid to say, if only to ourselves. It's like, okay, I'm not falling for this nonsense. Okay, I'm moving forward in the energy that is right for me. It moves us to justice. We're crowned by justice here. Now, justice in the law is like the physical justice of it all. But it is more than that. So I always would get confused when I saw justice because it's like, okay, legally, we could be coming to something and a ruling that is just for us. But we're also going to be seeing that we're learning how to be just for us, that we've spent our whole lives trying to balance and be just for everyone and everything and, and do things just so, so that you never offend or hurt anyone. That's an impossible way to live. We are learning how to be just to ourselves, to rise up in our own corner for ourselves, for what we desire in our lives, and to move ourselves forward with pride, with distinction and determination. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the Eight of Cups. We're going to want to walk away from something too soon. It doesn't mean that we don't walk away. It doesn't mean that you stay in an abusive relationship or a toxic place for too long. But there is something here within our lives that it's like, okay, you know what? I'm doing an overhaul. I'm going to change this too. And Spirit's saying, you're walking away too quickly. There's something here. You'll know it. You'll know it because you'll be like, well, I'm just walking away from this. You know, I'm tired, but something is going to be pulling you back. It's like, you're not done here. And if you walk away from it, it's going to follow you. Just know that. The repeat of the number eight, just know we can take things a little bit too seriously. The repeat of the queen, we can want to be too much of that peacekeeper. Okay. Oh, yes. In medieval times, or I think it was medieval times, the intermarrying of, of one royal house to another, and it was mainly the women. They were seen as peacekeepers. They were seen as, was it peace weavers? I think that's what it was called. I can't remember correctly. If you know, leave it in the comment box below. But there's a sense here that we can be seeing ourselves as needing to weave that piece, needing to weave that piece. And spirit saying, know what you're fighting for know what you want, know what you desire, because your actions will weave the peace that needs to come. And your actions will also lead you to the place that you need to be. Our subconscious message from spirit is to create. It is time to create. 
it is time to create and cultivate what we want because that's a way of being just to ourselves of honoring our, ourselves and our subconscious tarot message is the fool it's time to move forward to a new journey you know every single hero's journey starts with a fool with people saying and laughing that you're a fool and then you become the hero of the story we're not saying these are going to be herculean feats because who would want to be hercules anyway we are saying it is time to move forward and by we i mean spirit is saying it is time to move forward it is time to say i don't care of how you judge me i care of how i live my life and it's time for an adventure because scorpio it is time for an adventure all right now i hope this reading has resonated with you i wish you nothing but light love peace and happiness may harmony always be with you i am sending loving healing energy to each and every one of you i love you all and stay safe Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio. And may you have a blessed angel day. God bless.